everybody, this is Praxis and I'm here on site and I'm really surprised to see all these forms up. These are all the concrete forms for the upper levels of the foundation. I've been out of town for a couple days and I haven't been able to been he uh, be here and you know just keep tabs on what's going on. So first thing I did when I got back was swung by to just see if, well there were two things that were supposed to be accomplished uh, before we could get these forms in. One was to get the gravel in here, get this up to a certain level and nice and flat to work on. And the other thing was to get the perimeter drain in. And apparently, it all happened, and they, they told the uh, concrete people that they'd finished, which is great. I love it when people are communicating with each other, and I don't have to necessarily be the middleman. That's great. Uh, and he came in and uh, put up all his forms, and that's great. I'm really psyched to see it. Uh, these are the forms right here, and these are the, uh, the racks that they come in. They get uh, popped in with a crane. These are all the forms here. Small ones up here. These ones in the middle here are just... Uh, stack there temporarily so that they could they could put them up there's not going to be a wall back there but this is great the next step is really to have the concrete truck come in and fill them in i notice there's no cement in them right now concrete concrete in them right now but uh but that's the next step uh, and then i can start really swinging a hammer the level of the floor that you see right here this is about uh, 14 inches below where the finish grade is going to be and i asked them to do that so that once all the concrete's in and i you know get the form up I'm going to be laying foam all across this uh, floor area and up the sides, and then I'm going to be uh, filling that in with sand, gravel, whatever. I'll also uh, running some air vents uh, out of cinder blocks, putting cinder blocks on their sides so that uh, air can pass through them. And I want to create a huge thermal mass in the floor that's going to get the sun from the south that's going to be hitting this area, that's going to be getting uh, heat from the wood stove. Normally they would have filled this gravel just about up to the top of the foundation uh, top, over here uh, behind you and to your right. Uh, but I asked them to keep it down so that I can put the foam in first and then put all that mass in. And the idea there is that that's gonna be a, mo a moderating sort of impact on the house because you're gonna have all this uh, warm stone, you know, getting warmed by the sun, warmed by the wood stove and everything, and into the nighttime, it's going to slowly re-release that stuff back in. So this is a little atypical of what you would normally see. Normally the, uh, the gravel would come up to about here and, uh, and we left all that extra. So that's it. Next time you see me here on site, I'm probably going to be here when they're uh, doing the concrete pour because I'm excited to see that and I know there's a little guy over here by the car that's probably also excited to see that. And Amber came with us today, too. That's it. Thanks for watching.